There we go. Hey guys, what's up? Gritty Games here, back with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Welcome back to the channel here. Uh, we are not too far away from where the bounty hunters uh, where there was a slaughter and we rescued Sean. Uh, apparently in this little grove of trees here, there is a stranger and a question mark. So I'm going to go check him out uh, before doing any other missions. Hopefully uh, this guy won't try to kill me. Good morning. Oh. Hello. Why today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that fit. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry. <laughs> that, that thing is thing robbing me. Sneaky one, too. Wild laugh. And let's oh. get my gun out here. Where's my horse? Alright, where'd this thing go? Oh, I should use my. I keep forgetting about the. Oh, here it is right there. Oh. Okay, it ran off. I scared it off. I forgot to use my, uh, dead eye. Okay, so yeah, that guy was really close to this camp. We are actually back in the camp. Hmm. Alright, let's try Do I have my bow and arrow on me? I do not. I don't want to obliterate this thing, because I feel like pelt would be okay. There it is. As I fall down the rock formation. Alright, Coyote. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. Do I not get to skin it? Apparently I get nothing from that Coyote. That was easy enough. Alright, grab this bag. I can't ride my horse with the bag. I'm gonna have to walk this thing all the way over to that guy. Okay. Well, luckily it's not too far away. Arthur runs funny. Or maybe that's how people just run, I have no idea. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm uh, you take care, sir. I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. You're most welcome, sir. Oh, that's not my horse. I just tried to steal that guy's horse. Um, okay. So, I have a mission in mind that I want to do. I gotta call my horse over here. So inconvenient. Uh, so, uh, in a couple episodes, uh, a couple episodes ago, uh, we got a letter from a former lover, Mary Linton, who is just outside of Valentine. Uh, it is quite the ride, uh, so I'm going to ride over there, uh, and I will see you guys over there. Out of the way. 
Okay, here we are in Valentine. Uh, that was a longer ride than I expected. Uh, unfortunately, I got held up by a couple of robbers uh, and the, uh, the things like that, but uh, let's... Oh, okay. Hey friend, somebody just yelled, hey friend, remember me. Uh, clearly not. Hey, Wallace. This here is the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that uh, I'm in the trawl. The out of your leg. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item? Ooh. On my tab. Oh, well. Thanks. Yeah, see what okay. like I could do with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. Wow. Um. So this guy, I, uh, I, I suck some venom out of his leg. Uh, I didn't get it on. Uh, I didn't get it on video, but uh, apparently we're uh, we're gonna go visit the gunsmith for the first hey, time, see what, what we can, can buy. I do for you? Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab, one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. <laughs> Norbert, find something you like. I'll put it on his tab. What do we got out here? I'm not gonna get any ammo. I'd be stupid not to get a gun, right? All right, Gunsmith, what do you got? What do you suggest? All right, let's borrow this catalog. Oh, it's literally a catalog. Ooh, I kind of like the shotguns. Pistols. Hmm. I remember from the last game, this volcanic pistol was pretty good. Uh, let's see what else we got. Revolvers. Okay, I already own that one. Might go for a decent pistol, but maybe not. Yeah, I own that one as well. Lancaster repeater. So uh, most of these are locked, and I can't get any of them, and that's a bummer. Varmint rifle. That might come in handy for hunting, but let's see what else we can get here. Shotguns. Sawed off. I got both of the shotguns already. Okay. Okay, so... A hunting rifle the whole family can enjoy. That's funny. I would like to get a repeater, but apparently it's locked. Now that varmint rifle is seven. Okay, so they have the price there. That varmint rifle was seventy-two dollars. Let's go see the volcanic pistol. I'm gonna go with the one that's the most money. Okay, so that one says one hundred fifty. So let's go with the volcanic I'll pistol. Let know. Bye now. Hopefully that's not gonna be a mistake. And I'm okay customizing. We can do that later. I can get into that later. Right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. What if I just walked down this door right now and shot Norbert with the gun he just bought me? I'll let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Alright, thanks, Norbert. That's pretty handy. I uh, got a nice little pistol here. Uh, get a nice new pistol before I uh, presumably go see my ex. That's hilarious. All right, come on, horse. Let's go. All right, I'll put the gun away. Where is she? My horse is dirty. I'll take care of that later. Look at that piggy. Chadwick Farm. Alright, horse. Stay there.
Yes. Oh, Interesting. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton. Interesting. Holler for you. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Mary. Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? All right, I, I can't Where say no, you? I guess. Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Yeah, you will. You already owe me. <laughs> the Chelonians. Uh, it's going to be interesting uh, to see uh, what deity they worship. Where are they? Oh, they're all the way out there. Okay. Well, let's go swing out there. Let's go see what happens. Uh, I'm going to ride out there, meet the Chelonians, uh, hopefully rescue Jamie, uh, and I will see you guys out there. Looks like we got a Chelonian out here, maybe. Seek salvation! And maybe tell fine peace. I have to give him one dollar. Help a blind man. Have sure. It. You are not who you think you are, sir. Which is lucky. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. <laughs> Is that it? Please, I need to be alone with my thoughts now. Is that all I get for that dollar? All right, you kook. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we are pretty close to Chelonian. Chelonian? I think it was Chelonian. I forgot already. It was a crazy name. What was that? 
people of Predator. Okay, girl. okay. it's okay. Right, girl. I rode right by it and had no idea. Yeah. So on the way out here, I actually got to use my new volcanic pistol quite a bit. Uh oh. Gosh dang it. Come on. Nope, no, 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 no. That's not what I need to happen. Okay, okay, so please stop screaming. Please stop screaming. Get me off this horse. Okay. Alright, calm down, horse. Quick! Get me free! I'm working on it. Can I not get her off? Help me off this goddamn horse! Listen, lady. Ah, there we go, okay. So should I? <laughs> I guess I'll just drop her on the Please, ground. Cut me free. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. All right, you owe me a gun, lady. <laughs> Alright, so it's been an eventful ride. Oh, look at that uh, little raccoon eating that guy. Uh, so it's been an eventful ride over here to the Chelonians, uh, which sounds more like uh, a form of state alien or something like that, but uh, hopefully we can get there this time. Shouldn't be too much farther. It looks like they're up on this hill. I hope that lady really buys me a gun, the one that I just rescued. That would be really clutch, then I can get that varmint rifle and start properly yeah. hunting. Yeah, good girl. Okay, here we go. Please don't be crazy. Please don't be crazy. Yep. This is it? Oh, there are people here. Chelonia. And what is Chelonianus? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Go speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. Safety what show. What path have you chosen, sir? Debauchery, gunslinging. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Most of the time. I really kind of want to apologize right now. Maybe that will get me. Okay, let's apologize. I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my God and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? Really? Turtles. <laughs> yep. I have no idea. Turtles. 
Yeah, turtles. Hey. You love turtles. I love them too. Is it just me or am I starting to trip turtles. out a little bit? Um. <laughs> okay, I guess Jamie me. knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with me! <laughs> make up your mind! Oh. Leave me alone, Arthur! All right. I didn't ask for your help! I didn't notice before, but they had little turtles on their... Uh, robes, I guess. Shell of safety. Come on, Jamie. Oh. That's what I said, Arthur. I need my rope out. And your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. Sorry. Oh, come on, come on, don't, don't turn into me. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Come on, Jamie, you're wearing a damn turtle on your. Hold up a minute. Howdy. Jimmy, you're wearing a damn turtle robe, and you're chanting "Shell of Safety." Damn it, we got Snap out of it! The hard way. You pop up out of nowhere. His horse is bad. I kind of just want to shoot his horse, but I feel like that would Let's that stop. might kill him. Let's talk about this. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yeah. Come on, Jamie. I was doing just fine by myself. I wish I was close enough to go get him. Sorry, mister. What are you going to do, Jamie? Here we go. Here we go. In the mountains with those people? They're my friends. This horse is so fast. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. You're not going to shoot you me, Jamie. You ain't no killer. My horse is running out of stamina. That's not good. I gotta feed my horse real quick. Okay, that didn't work. Shoot me. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm I'm gonna I don't wanna live anymore. Kid, just mm, calm. This down. is not gonna end well. Me alone. Jamie. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. That could have ended very badly. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes, Jamie. Yes, you have. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Okay, well, that was interesting. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You fall <laughs> for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm 
sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take you anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, <laughs> he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. <laughs> I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Shell of safety. Alright, let's go, Jamie. Yes, we're going in. Jamie! Jamie! Come home. Please, you've... Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Ouch. That stings a little bit. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. <laughs> well, that's the way things work, Arthur. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Oh, I'd love a drink. That'd be great. Okay, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next episode. Give a fella a nickel. Okay. Alright, see you guys.